Well, this book of mine uh, is a labor of love. Uh, I've tried to explain exactly the processes which were involved uh, that led to this uh, huge human tragedy. Uh, and this is the first book, I must uh, insist, which uh, covers both West and East Punjab. No other book has ever been written on this subject. And uh, I present the chronology, I have talked to people who were victims, I have talked to people who were uh, uh, who took part in the crimes against others. So in that sense, this book puts on record uh, so many dimensions, so many aspects of the partition of the Punjab. Uh, of course, I bring in my own expertise in ethnic studies and uh, you know, genocide, ethnic cleansing, and I developed a framework uh, in which then I tried to, within that framework, analyze what happened in the Punjab. So it's a book in which there are so many stories uh, of, of uh, people who uh, are living with their trauma and uh, of course one thing tragic at the same time in, in a way uh, one can say that since all communities were victims of this violence, uh, all of them also took part in the crimes. So this is no way of absolving them of what happened. But one can say that this happened because of both, uh, uh, how should I say it, because of a set of circumstances which people couldn't control. The British wanted to leave quickly and uh, they wanted to transfer power when they realized that the Indians are not willing to share power in a way which would be acceptable. They were in a hurry and they didn't take all those measures which were necessary to see to it that the partition process was peaceful in the Punjab. Uh, it was very poorly managed. Uh, there was a lack of uh, resources. And so the end result is that the criminals and the politicians, they exploited those situations to their own advantage. So this is a story of Punjab's most tragic past, not a very long past, but a recent past. Uh, but in another 10 years, that generation which went through it will be gone. So I wanted to preserve forever uh, their experiences. So this book in that sense is about the story about Muslims, Hindus, Sikhs, even some Christians I have brought into the book.